We're following two major weather headlines this evening in the West. The system hitting tonight amid all of those warnings about the vanishing water supply. But first, the misery deepening from the Midwest to the Northeast. First, the storm. Now the single digit temperatures moving in, freezing everything in place. Just look this from Maryland tonight. The power lines turning to icicles snapping with cars underneath in Philadelphia. That state of emergency in Pennsylvania tonight. Hundreds of thousands spending this evening in the dark as those temperatures now plummet a virtual obstacle course for American drivers everywhere. Power grids pushed to the brink. This sign reads sorry power out. Some hospitals in fact forced to take drastic action and now that third storm on the way. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z standing by with the forecast. But first ABC's Gio Benitez tonight on the black ice worries. Tonight, the storm after the storm. After that winter blast dumped nearly a foot of snow and ice from Kansas to Maine, freezing cold and a race to restore power. Officials comparing the damage to the aftermath of a hurricane. Trees down for 100 miles, nearly half a million in the dark and frigid cold. Thousands of workers from as far away as Canada are coming to help. It's slow, painstaking work. Watch as these workers try and pull a live wire away from a van slowly guiding it with a pole. Soon the van is smoking and out come the fire extinguishers. At least 25 people hospitalized overnight with carbon monoxide poisoning. Doing things like operating generators indoors, operating gas grills and charcoal grills inside. Hundreds in shelters. This is a humbling experience that you know, having to come to a shelter, but they've been wonderful. Near Pittsburgh, a roof collapsed, trapping a man for days. He was finally rescued this morning. In New York City, JM Legend Auto Group security cameras caught this man walking as he gets flattened by a wall of snow from that plow. Watch again from the inside. On the roads, all the melting and freezing is causing a lot of black ice. Black ice forms when the ground temperature is 32 degrees or lower. When rain or sleet or melted snow hits it, it freezes instantly. And tonight, all of this snow is completely frozen. And take a look. This is the danger, all of this ice. The exhaust pipe is completely covered up. So if the owner of this car starts it up without clearing this ice, they run the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. David? So important to remember, Gio, our thanks to you. I want to bring in ABC meteorologist Ginger Z and Ginger the cold, locking all of this ice, all of this snow in place. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. And the core of the cold air is really settling in tomorrow morning. So let me show you more than 80% of the nation tomorrow morning will be below freezing, David. And you can see it's all the way through the Pacific Northwest. Portland, Oregon may even have a record low. Now that's that, but a lot of folks have been worried about the weekend, hearing about some storms. Well, I wanted to tell you, Let's go through Saturday 7 a.m. You can see that low pressure system in the southeast. That one kind of goes off. Had these two come together, we would have been talking about a big storm. But right now we're looking like just little hits of snow. Not as bad as it could have been. And out west tonight, the major headline there, some relief with the governor there suggesting uh, conserving your water already. Yes, they have been in such a deficit. You know, San Francisco, about a foot deficit. They got an inch today, and that's huge for them. It's not a drought buster, but it is this. The Pineapple Express, we've heard from it before, this atmospheric river of moisture pouring. This is through the weekend up to five inches in some of those areas in red. Some good weather news tonight for a change. Ginger will be watching you tomorrow on GMA.